Hello and welcome to another tutorial in the XNA. And in this tutorial, we're going to uh, finish our menu, get rid of that annoying text in the top left corner that's being made by our HUD. Actually, let's do that first. Okay, so I'm just going to put a, a statement right here saying if game one dot game state is equal equal to game. So this basically means that if we're actually playing the game, then we want the game HUD to be up. Otherwise, we don't really want it to do anything. So, yeah. And next thing I want to do is make the menu actually do something. So, in our update method, I want to check if check keyboard. Remember, we made that method uh, keys dot enter. And let's just make it several buttons where you can press enter so uh, it's not confusing for new users how to press enter or something so I'm just gonna put some generic enter buttons here uh, okay that's good so any of those can be enter or yes so uh, more chances of the user getting it right uh, is always good so once we have that, we want to change the game state depending on what is selected. So we're going to create a switch case statement, and we're going to base it off the selected variable. And the first case, which is case 0, and we're just going to make as many cases as there, as there are buttons. So there's four. So there should be four cases, so case 1 and case 0. Case one, case two, case three. So four cases. Okay, so the first button says play, so we want to change the game state. Game state, oops, game one dot game state equals game. And case, oops, case zero. And then this is case one. Game one dot game state equals map maker and then game one dot game state equals controls okay and then the last one is we're exiting the game so we wanted to just close so game one dot game state equals exit and then we'll do something in our game one class. So where is it? Right here. Okay. In our update method. Oh, I already have it. Okay. So I have an or statement right here uh, under the if statements uh, where it says this dot exit. I say if game state is equal to exit, it's basically going to ex exit the game. So let's go ahead and debug this. Let's see if everything is working properly. Okay, so we got rid of this part. Uh, I can scroll with up and down arrows. Yep, press enter or space or whatever, and I can start playing. Okay, that's very good. And I'm going to check if I can exit the game. Okay. Yep, okay, everything's working properly. Uh, map maker and controls won't really do anything right now, so yeah. And as for the comments you guys left me on episode 31, uh, two people had suggestions. One was to make new guns and stuff and bullets, and another one was to make melee weapons, and I think those are both good ideas, and maybe I'll try to get to them uh, as soon as possible, as soon as we're done with the map maker and stuff. So yeah, okay, uh, map maker. Right now, it's not really doing anything, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, one thing we do need is to make a list of objects. List of objects. And this will be the objects that we're going to place. So list of objects is going to be objects. We'll just call it object list. Let's do list objects. Okay, and then what we want to do is actually just give me a second. Okay, 
yeah, I was taking a look at my previous code just to make sure. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what we want to do is when we press the mouse and hold it down, we, we want it to create a new object and for us to be to move it around and stuff. So uh, another thing is we need to create another list uh, of objects, and this will be our object DB or object database. And you know what? We can just do this. I think. I think it'll allow us to do this. Okay, it'll only allow us to do it's only in arrays, so uh new list dot object. And then we can just add all the stuff we want. So object database dot add oops. And then all the object items we want to add. So of course uh just an object, new object. Vector two dot zero just says default, and then just copy this and do it for as many uh, as many objects as we want. So we have a man, we have a zombie, and we have a wall. Okay, and then we just want to add all of those to this array. I mean this list. So we have a wall, we have a man, and we have an enemy. Uh, I think we also have a box too, so we can have that, and we have a spawner. Forgot about that box. So we want to add all the things we want to uh, be able to add to our game to this uh, object database. Uh, what was I going to do? Yes, yeah, spawner. Okay. So next thing we want to do is we want to check if it's clicking. I think. <laughs> Forgot. So if check mouse actually you know if mouse dot left button equals equals button state dot pressed if we make a new boolean and we're gonna call it uh, is pressed. This is just going to keep track if we already pressed the mouse button and it, and is uh, holding it down. So if you're not pressing the button already, actually, you know, we can do this backwards. If is pressed, if you are pressed, do something else. Else you're going to make is pressed equal true and create a new object. So we want to create a new variable actually, and we're going to call this variable. It's going to be an object variable, and we're just going to call this selected object. And this is just going to keep track of which object we just created. So selected object equals create create new object and yeah there we go uh, let me see public void now we have to create this met method create new object and what we want this to do is to loop through all the objects in the items list so for each object o in items dot object list uh, actually you know what I'm gonna go into my object class and see if it has a variable that I want because if it doesn't I'll have to change that okay the, the variable I'm looking for is public bool draw that's the variable I'm looking for uh, but yeah okay I think this is good uh, yeah okay so what we want to do is 
uh, draw if draw is true. Otherwise, it's just going to return. So I'm basically making those two separate variables. And actually, by default, hmm, we have to make sure this is compatible with our previous code. We'll see. Uh, yeah. We'll just set this to false for now and then go back here. And we want the first thing we want our create new object to do is set O dot to draw equals true. Actually, first we want to check if draw if O dot draw equals false. Basically, yeah. If O dot draw equals false, if you're not drawing, then we want to set draw to true. And we wanted to set its position. Oh, I got another thing. Uh, we want this to create a certain object depending on which thing we've selected. But I think we're going to do that in a different tutorial. So for now, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, please leave a like rating, thumbs up, um, share with your friends, comment below if you have any suggestions, things you want to add to the game. And I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.